Hey, what's up guys? This is Hadi and um, today this is our first tutorial for our 3D Studio Max to Unreal course and today we're just going to quickly go through um, how to set up our 3D Studio Max you know, to optimize it, uh, to optimize our workspace and workflow for transferring our scene to Unreal so I'm not going to go too much into details I'm just going to show you a few things that I do to my 3D Studio Max uh, workspace so that um, when I get down to converting some of my stuff um, it makes things a lot easier for me so the first thing that I look at is um, the system unit scale in Unreal Engine we use centimeters for the unit scale so we have to do the same thing for 3D Studio Max as well and uh, so that when you open up your scene it will automatically convert it to centimeters so what do we do um, we can go to customize and go to unit setup and then click on this button called system unit setup and make sure it is in centimeters okay so it's simple so once that is up and running the next thing we have to do is our scripts okay there are three scripts that we have to download and uh, let's go through them one by one all right so the first script that we are going to download is the v-ray material converter um, most of us who do interior design um, or architectural stuff we will use v-ray so um, but Unreal Engine doesn't recognize V-Ray materials so we have to convert them to standard if you are already using standard materials then it's fine but if you are using V-Ray materials we will need to convert them to standard or we have to recreate most of the time we have to recreate the materials anyway but just to make things easier we just uh, get this tool and uh, convert some of our V-Ray materials to standard so let's just go to the link that I have prepared and download the files okay let's just download put it on the desktop let's just download the other two as well the second one is TS tools well to transfer our things to Unreal we have to move our objects to 000, zero and then export it to FBX file and then in Unreal we have to import it so TS tools automate that for us it will make our life a lot easier so let's just go ahead and download this TS tools Let's save it as well. And the last one is Steamroller. Well, in Unreal Engine, it makes use of the second channel for our UV channel. And uh, we have to unwrap every object that we have in 3D Studio Max. So, Unreal Engine used the second channel to create light maps. And um, instead of uh, unwrapping each object one by one we will use the steamroller script to do that for us automatically so let's just go ahead and download the steamroller script okay I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna close it I'm not gonna download it okay so we have downloaded three of them let's just install the first one which is a uh, V-Ray material converter okay I'm gonna extract it and I'm going to install it I'm just going to install it directly into my studio max folder which, in, which is in C drive program files Autodesk studio max okay I've already installed it so why don't you guys just go ahead and install it I'm just going to cancel it it's quite easy actually so uh, nothing much there so I'll cancel it but you guys go ahead and install it so the next thing we're going to install is um, our steamroller script 
we will install the Tom Shannon tools first because we're going to do some editing to the script so let's just go ahead and install the steamroller uh, so we'll go to max script run script look for the wv underscore steamroller and dot mcr file double click on it and you're done so that's our steamroller and the last one we're going to install the ts tools but before that we will need to edit it a little so let's just open it up and we will extract it to our desktop uh, I've already downloaded them so let's locate this file called ts underscore ue4 fbx exporter.ms okay and we edit it using uh, any editor software that you have I personally like notepad so let's just scroll down a bit and you'll see this uh, line here called local default mesh path and we're going to change it I'm not going to explain to you what I'm going to I'm doing because uh, it's a bit of a programming stuff but it will make our life a lot easier later on so change it to this game backslash export backslash percentage dot percentage okay and let's scroll down slightly below and you'll see this uh, line called static mesh equals static mesh I'm going to copy this chunk here and paste it over here okay that should uh do and then I need you to scroll all the way down and you see this long line here format t3d underscore static mesh underscore entry I'm going to add uh, two words here obj name space obj name that's it so that's our ts tools save it and let's get ready to import it into 3D Studio Max. Okay, Max script, run script. Um, make sure you choose the correct file. Yeah, it has been edited. TS underscore UE4 FBX exporter.ms. That's it. Simple, isn't it? So, right now I'm going to set up some shortcuts in our 3D Studio Max so that. Um, it will make our life a lot easier when we do our stuff later so let's just go to our studio, 3D Studio Max I'm going to put two buttons here one for my Steam Roller script and one for my TS tools so I'll just go to customize customize user interface and um, you should see the Steam Roller uh, script here so let's just click on two bars and I'm going to drag the Steam Roller to this place Okay, and then we're gonna look for the TS tools right here, TS tools script, and I'm gonna drag export objects to FBX for UE4 here. I'm gonna save this workspace. All right, and you have the Steam Ruler script shortcut and the uh, export objects to fbx for ue4 which is the ts tools shortcut setup so this will make our life easier later all right